and uh, Hector are back. That's a quite remarkable performance, one would think, for Hector are back. But, of course, you have to remember he's driving a Brabham, that Piquet is sitting out in the front stroking along. And I think, really, seeing Rabat there, in the, in, with the greatest respect, uh, is a sad reflection on the domina dominance that the Brabham's are showing here, which is a sad thing for Grand Prix racing. And Rabat is now up to fourth position. He's got ahead of Alan Jones, and now he's challenging Alain Prost. This young Mexican, Hector Rabat, 25 years old, it's only his 33rd Grand Prix, and just look at the way he goes past Prost on breaking there. And that, as James says, is an indication of how superbly well the Brabham's are handling now. Yeah, here we can see it again. Rebecca actually takes a very good bit of opportunism driving. He comes from so far, far behind, or rather, uh, the Renault brakes so early, I have a, I'm suspicious that he might have a bit of brake trouble, because uh, that was an extremely long way behind to outbreak somebody into a hairpin. So, there is the Brabham. And Ribak is now with Carlos Reutemann. This is quite incredible because Reutemann is in his 132nd Grand Prix and Ribak is in his 32nd Grand Prix. And that's Lammers, Jan Lammers, the Dutchman, in the pits in the ATS. And now Hector Ribak from Mexico in the second team Brabham is challenging. He's having the effrontery to challenge the man who is tying in the lead in the World Championship with Alan Jones, Carlos Reutemann, on Reutemann's home ground. Well, it's a sad thing, Miami. I mean, with the greatest respect, Rabak is not a world-class driver, and uh, he's in an infinitely superior car to Carlos Reutemann, which uh, just makes a mockery of Grand Prix racing, and I'm afraid it's, it's the current rules and all the arguments uh, in that, uh, having argued for six months or more over the rules and practically broken the sport, they then come up with a set of rules which is a load of complete rubbish. Well, either way, Hector Rebarque makes Carlos Reutemann look as though he's almost standing still as he goes past him there. Lovely bit of passing. Yeah, well, the Brabham had more grip through the previous corner, through that S-bend. He came out of it faster. He's got a bit of a draft from Reutemann up the far straight, and he just simply driven past him, which is utterly demoralizing, disheartening for, uh, for Carlos Reutemann, and for that matter, any other world-class driver who has that indignity inflicted upon him. And now, just as we... This is... That's Mark Sura in the ensign, seemingly out of the race. And as PK comes through to complete another lap, just as we have been recently used to the Williams cars dominating Grand Prix in first and second places, Jones and Reutemann, now the Brabhams are doing it. PK leads and Rebark second. Well, we've got a clock running on PK this time. And uh, as I said at the beginning of the programme, the practice times here and, in fact, the times in the race at the moment, the ones that we've had so far, are faster than the previous lap record, faster than the previous qualifying. But uh, enthusiasts amongst you may remember, of course, that last year the track was really breaking up very badly when, when skirt cars were there in force. So the lap times weren't really, are not really comparable because they couldn't really go properly last year. It was half of the track was almost like it was raining. So because uh, the surface breaking up. So anyway, there goes PK. The problem uh, to enlarge upon my remarks just now, really, basically what's, what's happened with the rules, Brabham's have. Uh, got a very ingenious suspension system on their car which is hydraulic which allows the car to go down onto the road the hydraulic system then sort of controls a low ride height to get its skirts to touch the road and to work and then when it's not running the thing sort of lets itself off in some ingenious way and uh, I'm not an engineer so I don't know quite how it works and uh, then of course it comes back to meet with the regulations to clear the ground by a certain amount but of course uh, that's an ingenious way around the rules and perfectly uh, all right, and full marks to Brabham's for devising it. Mind you, they may not have the lead for very long because the others will undoubtedly copy it. But the problem is that uh, the rule book has just gone you know, out of the frying pan into the fire as far as a mess is concerned because surely Grand Prix racing should be trying to make the cars equal, not allow for further uh, ingenious ways round the rules uh, to, in order to make it good racing. I mean, this is not a good race. We have L Nelson Piquet stroking it along, miles in front. There is the lap time quicker than the old lap record because of the surface but he's stroking it long in the lead and his teammate who's not up to him is right behind him and that's Jacques Lafitte in the Talbot Matra V this is a sad thing to see two cars out front and all the rest of them running along all breathless and huffing and puffing in, in quite a hopeless pursuit Nelson Piquet number five Brazil well just looking at the race as a whole, I have to say it's been a great disappointment to me, Murray, to see uh, 
the, the wrangles over the rules. We had all winter. We hope we got it all sorted out. We get to Long Beach and the Lotus 88 is protested and there's arguments about that's legality. The Brabham was tested, protested by the Williams team with their suspension system uh, before the race here and uh, was thrown out, but arguments still wrangle about that. And uh, as far as I was concerned, all this argument and stuff between the powers that be in motor racing was to sort all the problems out, not create more. The new rule book seems to be creating more problems. It has not made the racing closer as yet. Hopefully, though, the others, if this is legal, this Brabham suspension system will at least copy it and so at least they can race on terms with it, but it'll take them a few races to get it right. Brabham have shown this form, were showing this form in testing before Long Beach. They've had trouble getting the system right, which is why it's only showing its true colours here. But it was well expected uh, within the business that Brabham's would dominate like this once they got it right. And uh, I'm afraid this really isn't what uh, motor racing needed. It needed all the cars to be made equal so that the drivers could have a jolly good race and we, the, the uh, spectators, could be entertained. Well, get it right they have, and 